this video shows a sensor network that I've created. Um, so it's four wireless sensors uh, which are creating a uh, air conditioning system. So this is the what I'm going to call the hub of the network. So it's a Discovery STM32 F4. So it's an ARM Cortex M4 development board. Um, connected to it is a Texas Instruments Anarin um, TICC110L low cost. Um, it's part of the value range wireless module on a um, kind of breakout board booster pack for the TI uh, MSP430 launch pad that like I say I'll connect it onto here so it's connected via SPI um, which is configured in just a few jumpers wires um, on a Vera board there um, actually I think it's a matrix board rather um, connected across you've also got then because the internals are a bit of a pain on the discovery the UART um, it's connected through a USB UR adapter into the PC. Um, so this is kind of monitoring all the data from the network um, and then we've got the four um, sensors um, so I will show you that in a second. So the first sensor I've got is, so it's a bit messy, um, it's an RFID reader um, which is, you can actually see in one of my other videos I've got um, this demonstrated but I've added the wireless module into there as well. Um, so I won't say too much about that, like I said, in my other video. Um, these all do need a bit of tidying up. This one is the um, simulating a door switch. So in a the kind of simulation for this is that it would be in a hotel um, room. So the air conditioning system would only work when the door was closed. So you've just got a simple um, switch there, just sort of, so you can switch on or off. If I put the wire back on. Be a bit more tricky to do this with um so, so you've got the two switches. I've got a similar one down here, um, which is actually got the same switch as the door, which is an on-off switch, and you've also got an up and down, so it's a sprung switch, so you can go up and down temperature. That's a temperature control module and the power switch. And then the last one, which looks a bit tidier because I've put the lid back on it is the temperature sensor which is um, it's an analog sensor um, which feeds into the ADC um, on the microcontroller these are all powered all four sensors are Tex Instruments MSP430 launch pads all individually got one of the wireless modules on them they're all battery powered um, 3 volt battery these two because the temperature sensor sends data a lot more frequently um, it transmits more so it uses more power so I've got double A batteries on that one same with the RFID it's scanning the RFID a lot more frequently so it uses a lot more power and then you've got the um, the two switch based ones um, send at a low thing I think it's every few seconds but obviously that can be made much slower but they're actually interrupt based as well um, so whenever the switch is um, switched either way um, then it should wake up automatically and then when it's not awake it's going back to sleep so those to use a lot less power so they're just on um, CR2032 3 volt coin cells. So let's show the system. It's, um, it's fairly reliable. It um, loses connection every so often. Um, so I'll kind of show you. So um, this is the Keel software for controlling or programming the discovery board. It's actually, I'm not really programming, I'm just using it to look at the variables so you can see what I'm monitoring, so, so the temperature, which you can see every time they go green is when they're updating. So the count towards the middle there is the data, amount of packet of data that it's received. Um, and then you've got the four variables near the bottom, temp control, minus 86 means the system's actually switched off. Temperature control is the actual temperature as a float value in degrees Celsius. RFID zero means no cards found, and the door zero means the door's open. So if I start up, I'll switch the system on. You'll see that minus 86 should jump. Like they just seem to, so it's gone to 15, which is the temperature of the system that I've set. Um, the actual temperature you can see is around 16 at the moment. Um, so let's see that. So you've got um, if I switch. Um, so you can see now, uh, if I do the door switch, the door should 
So see, it's pretty much as soon as I switch that on, it jumps from zero to one. I'll put the RFID tag card on there as well. Um, on the card there, so you can see now. Uh, oh, the RFID tag hasn't put that up. Now the RFID tag is a bit um, problematic. So you can see it's picked that up now though. Um, so you've got zero, 01, which means the room card's found. And what's actually happened now is on the discovery board, the LED lights are circling, which is showing that the air conditioning system is on. So the system checks these four values, checks that the condition is, certain conditions are met before it will turn the system on. So the system conditions are that the temperature control set by the control panel here is lower temperature than the actual temperature of the room. So you can see it is. Um, so the desired temperature is 15, it's actually nearly 16, so it's trying to cool the room down. Um, the, the other condition is the RFID tag card is found, and then the other condition is that the door is closed. So you can see if I, in theory, make... God, should I think it this way? I'll just do a reset. Um, there we go. Right. So you can see it's picking up the information there. Um, so you can see the temperature is desired is 17 now, so the actual system's lights are off. But if I bring that down, so one more click now, there you see the temperature's just gone above. So you'll see now the temperature's floating around 16, so it will, um, the temperature goes down, then. Um, it will go on and then it will go off again. So if I put the temperature up one degree to 17, then the system goes off, back down, system goes on, and up, off, and down. It depends on there. So, so you can see that there. And what the system is actually doing in, in real time is actually displaying it on a graph on the screen. So this is the temperature. That's why it's so bright. There you go. Right. So you've got the RFID tag found is the room card. If I take the room card away, it takes about 10 seconds. This, or five to 10 seconds, you should see that the room card should jump to no card. There's an LED down here. So if I bring the card back, you see the LED light comes on then. There we go. So you can see the temperature control 15, the door is closed, the power of the system is on, the room card is found and therefore the system is on. And this graph here is showing the temperature. So if I put my hand over the temperature sensor you should see, you see it's starting to jump up now. If I take my hand back off you can see, it's quite difficult to see, it's not the best filming conditions. But you'll see the temperature now is slowly falling. There we go. So if I'm if I bring the temperature of the desired system up to say 18, see the eight red light. I won't touch anything else now. And what you'll see the temperature's falling. The system's on. That's shown by the green light and the rotating there. And what will happen is once the actual temperature falls below the 18, then the system um, will eventually automatically turn the air conditioning system off. So this kind of system here now is simulating the room is actually being cooled. So we're on about 18 and a half now. So hopefully 18.4. So you've got that kind of 18.1. And there we go, just at 17.9 now. So that's gone off, as has the system there as well. So yeah, the, the main problem I need to now resolve is sometimes the um, the hub, for some reason, locks out. I think it's when two sets of data come in on the wireless module at exactly the same time, and then the system misses one of the sets of data and kind of ignores it. So we need to put part of my routine in there to kind of modify that part. But um, other than that, it seems to be working reasonably reliably. 
Um, then I need to, I've got more lids for these boxes, so I just need to drill a few holes and then secure the switches out the top, like I've done with the temperature sensor there. And then with the RFID, it's kind of secure the um, card reader onto the top of the box, and then I can place the card on the lid, which I've tested, it does work through the lid, but it's just actually securing the card onto the lid. But um, I don't know, I might do that with just like a couple of small cable ties with a little, because the reader here has actually got some little holes in it, so I can sort that out probably fairly easily and fairly tidily. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask.